Hi, my name's Angus and I'm from C2 Communications. I'm just going to show you today how to create call queues and ensure that all your extensions are logged into those call queues. So first we'll go down to call queues and then we'll click add. Now in here is all the information for the queue you are going to add. So first we'll just give it a name, we'll call it incoming. And after that we're going to leave it as extension 80. Then the polling strategy, we're going to change that to ring all, so it'll ring all the agents in the queue. We'll leave the ring time at 30, and then we'll just go down to fill in the rest of the information. So when we scroll down, you can see here there's the maximum queue time, so we'll change that to 30, like we had the ring time, and then we'll change it to not end the call, but we'll go to the voicemail box of our main extension. So there's a few other options we can set. One is the music on hold, if you have an audio file you'd like to play. There's also an intro prompt section. And there is also the option to announce to the caller which position they are in. Now let's add agent. So let's just go up to that agents tab and click the add button. And as you can see, you've got all the extensions available. So let's just click extension 10 and click OK. We are now ready to save that call queue. So let's just click the OK button. So we're not quite finished just yet. Let's just go over to the extensions tab and just ensure that the extension is available in the queue. So let's just click it once. And when you click that once, go up to status and you can see here it's got queue status. Make sure that says logged in. Unless it's logged in, the calls will not route to that extension. So once it's logged in, just exit out of that pop-up box and you should be all set to go. So thank you very much for listening. Keep an eye out for our next video and we'll see you soon.